Good evening, friends. Today we continue our discussion on attack strategies in Baccarat. After the last video, I saw many comments, but I feel that the concept of attack isn't fully understood yet. As casual players, we are different from professional gamblers who rely on gambling for a living. They know how to control their daily profits and losses. But many of us say we just gamble for fun, which I believe is nonsense, unless you are merely a tourist willing to lose a small amount without concern. Let me share a story. A Hong Kong friend who works in construction once took 1 million HAD to Macau to gamble. He started with small bets of 1,000 HAD, thinking it would last longer. Henrose, he won 8,000 HAD, but over the next few days, he gradually increased his bets and eventually lost all his money within half a month. This kind of slow boiling frog approach is bound to fail because there is no proper attack plan. Another example is a Canadian friend who often took 2,000 whizzy to the casino, lost it, and went back to get more. Though he sometimes left after winning 800 ready, over two years he lost close to 1 million rester. His plan seemed rational, but the end result was total financial ruin. Now, if you brought 1 million AJ to a casino, would you prefer losing it all in three days or over a month, I'd say? Losing in three days is better because staying at the casino for a whole month would negatively affect your mental state. Previously, we discussed attack strategies focused on gradually grinding out a 30% profit. But some said they couldn't achieve that. If you can't grind out 30%, then it's time to leave because losing that much is a red flag. Today, I want to introduce a different strategy based on the Kelly criterion. The Kelly formula calculates that, in Baccarat, the optimal bet size is 25% of your bankroll, so if you have 10,000 HAD, your optimal bet would be 2,500 HAD. This strategy involves dividing your bankroll into four parts. Each part goes through two rounds of attack. If you win, you double the next bet. If you lose, you move to the next portion. Winning just one round out of four will recoup all losses, but if you lose all four, it's time to call it quits. Many players use this method successfully. It's up to each individual to decide if this strategy suits them. I'm sharing these strategies to ensure you approach gambling with a plan rather than just playing recklessly.